Hey, good morning. This is John Johnson, the Mortgage Music Man, coming with you with another quick video. Um, no signs of housing bubble as of right now. This is August 2nd, 2022. You never know. Four months from now, things could change. A year from now, things could change, et cetera. Uh, but just wanted to make this quick video because a lot of experts, a lot of people who I really like and trust in the YouTube media space, um, they're not on the, the housing side or real estate side, but they are in the media space when it comes to reporting things that are going on in the, in the world, podcasting, things of that nature. Uh, they're really pushing the, the you know, housing bubble, get prepared for, you know, another housing collapse, et cetera, when uh, the experts who I trust on the uh, real estate uh, mortgage side of things are not showing that we are anywhere near that right now. So here's a couple of different slides that, that kind of uh, show that. Um, this is a pretty big one, month supply of homes. This is one of the most important ones. Um, this shows you, uh, you know, if we were to have uh, no more homes come on the market, how fast would it be until all of those homes are are sold? Uh, and we are still at a very, very uh, low month supply of homes, uh, meaning that anything less than five, six months means that we're in a seller's market. And as you can see, uh, we are still very low right now. If that number continues to tick up, uh, anywhere to around five, six, that's more of a neutral market. And if it goes anywhere above that, that's going to be considered a buyer's market, which means that uh, the market has shifted into a different type of market. Uh, mortgage credit availability is still under control. I can tell you, I'm in the mortgage space. It is not easier to be able to get buyers to close. There, uh, there's, you know, new lending, new lending standards come out and different changes to programs every couple of weeks. Uh, for your big programs, conventional, VA, FHA, et cetera. There is no wide sweeping, you know, uh, uh, changes to the guidelines in those programs that are making it easier for people to be able to qualify right now. Um, it, it, still, um, it still takes a good amount of effort to get somebody to qualify, you know, if, if they are not, um, if, if you have an 800 credit score and 100K in the bank, like even one of these types of buyers, which is, you know, 1% of buyers, first time buyers, um, then yeah, it's pretty easy for you to qualify. But for the majority of buyers, uh, 640, 650, uh, you know, maybe a few thousand to their name, but not enough cash to close. You got to find a way to get the cash to close. Uh, we still have to get sometimes, uh, or, or a lot of times, slightly created to get them to be able to close. So it's not uh, a crazy amount of, of uh, it's not just one of those things where all you do is apply and you automatically get a home like it was 10 years ago. Or, I'm sorry, 14 years ago. And then lastly, foreclosures are still very low. Uh, I believe I spelled foreclosures wrong. Uh, they are still very low. Uh, as you can see, it, it's been a, a downward trend when it comes to the number of foreclosures out there on the market. Are there still foreclosures happening? Yes. Uh, when you get into a property, the most important is to be able to survive those first two years, especially with home prices going up in value. Uh, taxes will be reassessed on that home. So the home was last sold at 150 and you just bought it for 400 k Your taxes will be reassessed. And within one to two years, your uh your monthly payments could go up 100 to 200 bucks per month but as long as you can be able to survive that hit as long as you have a little bit of reserves for if you know you get laid off from a job things of that nature um, most people are able to survive those first couple of years of being in the home and once you can survive the first couple of years of being in a home um it's normally a smoother sailing towards uh lasting for a longer period of time overall foreclosures are very low um the numbers are showing right now that we are not anywhere near um a housing crash uh, we'll see how that goes six months, a year from now, et cetera. Thanks. Have a great day.